and we are doing a quick testing, taste tasting of different mezcales. <laughs> and we are trying one mezcal that I haven't tried before. He said that it's good, but I don't know. Salvation. 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 We're here with an expert. <laughs> and his name is Enrique. Enrique, like my dad and my brother. And like the king. Like the king. Henry VIII. Delete. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> okay, a bolt of lightning struck an agave plant and set it on fire. <laughs> Offering mezcal to the ancient inhabitants of Mexico. That is the legend of mezcal, not the legend of salvación, but the legend of mezcal. Period. Wow. And we are trying a tobasiche single agave mezcal tobasiche. from the tobasiche agave. So for the people that don't, don't know, speak. that they like, what is mezcal? What is the difference from mezcal and tequila? What would you say? The expert. correct expert. answer is there are two different appellations of origin. And if you know what an appellation of origin is, then you'll understand that it's a certificate granted by the world intellectual property to preserve the heritage behind the product. So tequila and mezcal only have one similarity, and that is that they both come from agave plants. The same plant. Not the same plant. Same category of plants, but different agave plants, different varieties or varietales. So basically, um, they're cooked differently. They have different geographic appellation of origin. They taste different, they smell different, and their um, flavors are completely different. different. Yeah. Why is it that people tell, hi, I don't know, sometimes I don't like the smokiness, and honestly, it's the thing that I love the most, the smokiness of the... Of how, the do you, how do you come up with the smokiness? The smokiness comes from the production process. There is an earthen pit where you cook the agave chunks and cover them for a period of about 8 to 10 days and the lava rock is slowly cooking the agave chunks on a closed earthen pit so the smoke, instead of escaping, um, gets impregnated into the agave chunks and that's what gives the um, smokiness. And you can control by opening the, the oven how smoky you want your mezcal to be. Mm, nice. I went to Oaxaca once and there was this mezcalero or the, the, uh -huh. the guy, mezcal no, producer. maestro, 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 maestro. The master mezcalero, <laughs> the one that like heads the production. No? Yeah. It was a very local place. And we arrived in the morning and I asked him, so how did you start the day? He said, we wake up, get, we get ready and then we have our cafe with a little bit of mezcalito. And I was like, in the morning? And his answer was, yes, is pa ponerme chingón. Very good. Me, me morí de la risa. It was super funny. <laughs> if you drive, you've probably seen it in Oaxaca, if you drive around 4 p.m., mm -hmm. you see all the women sitting on their rocking chairs wearing traditional costumes with little mezcal shots, and they're sipping on mezcal. And it's like their happy hour. And they're so happy and they're smiling and they're like a hundred years old and they're just enjoying the sky. I want to be a hundred or more years old, so let's start smiling <laughs> with our sky. So, okay, cheers. How, cheers. Tell me how, to, how you tell people to drink it. The best way to drink mezcal is at room temperature. Mm -hmm. And the first sip that you take, you need to do a little swish in your mouth to open your tasting buds so that you can um, perceive the botanicals better. Okay. So let's do like... Oye, I don't have mine! <laughs> <laughs> Here's yours. Mira, change, change, change. <laughs> I'm like, what is it? What is it? I don't see anything. <laughs> It's very smooth. <laughs> I'm it's afraid like, that yeah. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be a hundred years. No, no. A ver. Then the next sip, you're gonna be able to perceive all the botanicals. That's what I tell people. People, the first time that they drink mezcal, they do it and like, ah, it's super strong. Like, no, no. How, how is the saying? El mezcal no se toma a tragos sino a besos. Exactly. You drink I mean, it with, I love it. Yeah, we drink it. <laughs> you drink it with kisses. It's like you're kiss, sipping, so. kissing, yeah. Sipping. So now it's the second try. It's better. And every a good mezcal evolves in your mouth. Mm -hmm. yeah. So every sip should taste slightly different. If you pay mm -hmm. attention, the botanicals will evolve. And when you are drunk, it tastes like. Everything <laughs> tastes the same. Bueno. Like glory. Salud. Like, like glory. Salud. Thank you so much. 
And thank you, our host, Javier. Oye, we have to do more things about mezcal. Yes. So I'm going to see Enrique in another video. And we're going to do like a lot of mezcales so he can explain the differences, right? Y las perlas and all the things. We and can talk about mezcal for a long time. You're my best friend now. <laughs> Cheers. This is Marta, la Mexicana. <laughs>